happy Saturday or happy Sunday whenever you guys are watching. Um, as you guys know, I'm doing my psych rotation. I've said it so many times. Look, there's a first day for apparently every subject that you're doing. So studying never ends. There's BRS series, case files. So those are some of my study resources for um, psych right now. But today I wanted to share something, some cool things with you guys. So if you guys don't know, I'm a very um, big gadget nerd, I guess. So I like my gadgets. Um, I've talked about my watch before. Um, my watch is Withings. So it's a smart watch, so it tracks your steps. So you can see I had a little over 5,000 steps today. Um, and it also tracks your sleep. And all the information just basically goes to my app on my iPhone. So you can keep track of how much sleep you're getting and how many steps you're getting in. Um, per day. So that's a really cool um, just information gathering um, gadget. Um, and the watch looks like a normal watch. So I really like that. And in addition, Weddings comes with a scale where you get on it every morning and it tracks your weight. It sends all the information to the same app so you can kind of see how your um, weight trend has been like. So up or down, you know, over a long period of time which I think is a better way to look at your information than just like a single measure. So I guess another gadget that I'm really into is this thing called uh, Click and Grow. It's like a smart plant grower thing. Right now I have a lavender, it smells really good. I've had basil on it before and I've used it in cooking. Um, I got the planter all, all the way back when they were first on Kickstarter. So it's been a while since I had it. I think it's a little more expensive than what it used to be it used to be like 30 something dollars 40 dollars at most but i think it might be a little more now but a cool way to grow your plants and kind of watch their progress on your phone it'll tell you when you have to water them and stuff this stethoscope does a lot of things so if you guys want to read um, the whole description i'm going to put the link in the description box but i'm just going to talk about a few pros and cons so pro number one is um, once you put it on and you turn the the middle piece on you have the option of amplifying the sound up to 40 times. And that's really important because when you're first learning how to listen to heart sounds, um, the fact that it's very it's not very loud with the regular traditional stethoscope can be a hindrance to you. So I know that when I was sitting for um, USMLA step, we would have those heart sound questions and I would usually put the volume up all the way up and then it made it a lot easier for me to determine what kind of heart sound it was. Um, so that's really cool. Second pro is when you connect it to your phone, because this will um, connect via Bluetooth to your phone, you can actually record the heart sound that you're listening to, and it's gonna make an audio graph of the heart sound. And this can be really helpful because when you're first learning heart sounds, the way I learned it at least is by looking at those audio graphs, and it makes it a lot easier to determine if there's an S3 or S4 or if there's a murmur. Um, just looking at it visually made it um, a lot easier to understand so you can do the same with the stethoscope another thing you can do is you can actually show your um, audio graph to your attending and you can talk about what you hear um, so you can reproduce the sound by um, via the app but you can also look at it so you can discuss certain cases uh, with other physicians or your attendings I think that makes echo a very good educational tool as well as a very good clinical tool. The stethoscope itself is actually HIPAA approved and FDA approved so um, you can have patient data on your phone via the app um, and I think you can also transmit the heart sound and the audiograph to another physician that's um, that may be far away so that physician can also listen to um, your patient's heart sound. I guess a couple of cons is it can be very heavy. This attachment is not light so it's going to be a lot heavier than your typical Lippmann stethoscope so if you're having it around your neck the whole day it can be um, a little tiring on your neck another con is obviously this thing um, has to be powered somehow so you have to charge it one full charge is going to be 21 day average use so it's going to be nine hours of continuous use so you do have to remember to charge it if you don't charge it you can just use it as a regular stethoscope but it doesn't do anything special so i'm gonna end the video here thank you guys so much for watching um, like I said, comment below if you guys have any comments or questions about these products. I'm going to put links to everything I talked about um, in the description box, so definitely check it out. And I'll see you guys in the next